I feel like I'm a child of the union, that I really believe we are a family and we're better together. And I think the best thing to do with Nicola Sturgeon is ignore her. I think she's... <laughs> I think... difficult when she's first minister though. She's, she's got a democratically elected position yeah, just as you would. I'm sorry, she's an attention seeker, Seb. That's what she is. And what we need to do is show the people of Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales what we are delivering for them. You know, Nicola Sturgeon can sort of carry on talking about an independence referendum. We had the referendum in 2014. It was agreed it was once in a generation. I didn't realize a generation happened within 10 years. That doesn't make any sense. So we've got to call her out on that, but at the same time, really delivering for Scotland. So some of the policies I'm talking about, the investment zones, the free ports, we need to make sure they're delivered in Scotland too. So that's an absolute no to another independence referendum no, whenever you no, are Prime no. Minister. There you are. Well, All that Nicola Sturgeon does is campaign to break the union. Education in Scotland has been doing badly. Health in Scotland has been doing badly. Public services in Scotland have been failing under the SNP. And what we need to do is to hold Miss Sturgeon to account for the failings of the Scottish Government to deliver services for the people of Scotland. And when she's waffling on endlessly about having a referendum and going to the Supreme Court and all of this, we need to be saying, hold on, you're doing this because you are failing to deliver for the people of Scotland.